Are you feeling overwhelmed from work? Struggling to stay on top of all your classes? Maybe everything is happening all at once. They say that when it rains, it pours. When you're feeling low, it's easy to convince yourself to stay there. After all, how can you fall when you're already on the ground? Nevertheless, your heart wants to heal, so give it what it wants. Help yourself get back on your feet with these five self-care tips when you're feeling broken. 1. Step outside for some fresh air. Our thoughts can be even louder than the ruckus of busy cities. Whether you're still a student in school or constantly work in front of a computer, it's easy to feel congested by deadlines, projects, and never-ending tasks. Make use of your mornings, lunch breaks, and evenings when you're off the clock to step outside for walks. This will help clear your head and improve your mood. In Japan, going for walks in the woods is called Shinrin Yoku, which means taking in the atmosphere of the forest. In one study at Kyoto University, researchers discovered that the scent of fresh pine helps reduce one's levels of anxiety and depression. Spending time outdoors also helps improve our concentration. We aren't meant to experience life in stuffy bubbles. Even if you can't step outside right away, crack open a window when you can and allow nature to heal you. 2. Take a nap. When we don't get enough sleep, our moods can take a turn for the worse and spiral down into an endless abyss. If you're feeling cranky from exhaustion, take some time, even if it's just half an hour, to curl up on the couch and close your eyes. There's no shame in closing the curtains, flicking off the lights, and allowing yourself to recharge. Once you wake up, you'll feel better rested and you'll make up for lost time by carrying out your daily tasks with a fresh and sharp mind. 3. Allow yourself to be ordinary. We are all perfectly imperfect. Take a break from using Instagram filters and Facebook posts that show your life only at its best. Social media is a place where we can share our favorite moments with others, but it has also become a platform where people feel pressured to compete with others. Sometimes, it feels more like a beauty pageant instead of a second home. You don't owe anyone a performance. Your sense of self is worth more than a digitalized reputation. Embrace your flaws and allow yourself to be average. Simple and sincere is always better. 4. Clean and give your space a makeover. Cleaning doesn't have to be overly excessive to make a difference. Whether it means organizing your bookshelf or clipping your favorite photos onto the wall, changes, big or small, can enhance the atmosphere. After all, you spend a lot of time in your space. Giving it some love and attention can go a long way. 5. Reach out and tell someone about what you've been going through. Feeling down often leads to shutting down. We fear burdening others, and as this develops into a habit, we suffer silently making it harder to heal. Don't feel ashamed about your struggles. Sometimes, you just need someone to hear your story. You'd be surprised with how much people understand you. As a bonus, you'll also end up strengthening your relationships. What do you do to take care of yourself when you feel broken? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching! Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!